In this session, we're going to find an element in a nested shadow dome. The previous two sessions showed different ways of finding an element. We found an element using Selenium's Find Elements method and without the Find Element method. I am going to locate the nested shadow dome element using a JavaScript expression. A nested shadow dome is when the shadow dome is located inside of another shadow dome. For example, in this diagram, we see the last two gray boxes are extended from the first gray box. The first gray box is a shadow dome and has a shadow host. It splits into more shadow domes for our code. It is set up to use Chrome maximize the window and to load the application for our test it starts with at test annotation public void find element in nested shadow dome there will be two main steps First step is to provide access to JavaScript. And second is find the web element so we can perform an action. The JavaScript executor interface indicates a driver can execute JavaScript Therefore, we cast it, then assign it to JavaScript executor with the reference JS executor. Now, we must find the web element. Let's go to our AUT. It's a shop website for men and ladies. It has four shop now buttons. And each shop noun button is located inside of a nested shadow dome. We're going to click the shop noun button for men's t-shirts. Inspect the shop noun button. A fast indicator that the element is in a shadow dome is by looking at the bread crumb. We see shadow root. However, it's a nested shadow dome because we see shadow root two times. The complete structure is too big for this screen. Do you see how some of the nodes are collapsed and we are still not able to see both shadow hosts? Both shadow domes are element in one layout. I remove the unnecessary nodes so we can focus on the elements for our test script. All of the expanded nodes are highlighted green, red, or gray. Recall from the introduction, a shadow host is an element with a shadow tree. In this diagram, both shadow hosts are green. The shadow dome begins with a shadow root, which is highlighted red. Our nested shadow dome is the second shadow root. Then we see the button element starting with an A tag. Just like in the second session, we can copy the JS path by right clicking, copy, then copy JS path. However, in this session, we're going to create the JavaScript path step by step. Go to the console and clear the console. Know what? I'm going to go ahead and paste it, then hit enter. The JavaScript path starts with document.query selector and a CSS selector value. This means the element matching body angle bracket shop hyphen app will be returned. So if I type document.query selector and the CSS selector within the parenthesis shop hyphen app we see the next output has shop app as the tag name 
Notice two things about the path I wrote compared to the path that was copied from Elements tab. My path has single quotes and only shop hyphen app as the CSS selector value. The copied path has double quotes and body hyphen body angle bracket shop hyphen app as the CSS selector nested values. Either way is okay. I chose to bypass the body node. If we expand each node, then all of the subsequent nodes would make this here looks exactly like the elements tab. I'm going to collapse the node and then go back to the console to the diagram and we see shop app is the shadow host and comes after body. Next is the shadow root which lets us know we are at the shadow dome. Within the first shadow dome is the iron pages tag followed by the second shadow host shop home. That's all we need for the first shadow dome. For CSS selector, we can skip iron pages and go directly to shop home. In the console, hit the up arrow button. Let me go back to the console and we can click the up arrow and the up arrow shows the previous statement. To access the shadow root, we write dot shadow root dot query selector. Within the parenthesis, I'm going to add shop hyphen home. Bingo. Shadow root represents the shadow root element and is the root for this component. Query selector works inside of the shadow tree. Do you see how we're walking through the dome step by step? In the diagram, we're at the nested shadow dome level and it's the same process. For the shop noun button, I am going to get the shadow root, bypass the deal tag, then return the shop button and the element which starts with the A tag. In the console, we write dot shadow root dot query selector. Inside the parenthesis, I'm going to write shop hyphen button angle bracket A. Bingo. Here's the anchor tag displaying our element. Next, we are going to copy the JavaScript path. Then go back to our code. We have the web element, which is the shop now button. That's it. It's important to convert to a web element from the JS executor dot execute script method. At this point, we return the JavaScript path. Let me modify the path so it all shows up on the same screen. This is the path we just created. First line returns the shadow host from the original dome. Second line is the shadow host from the nested shadow dome. Third line is the shop now button. With the shop now button, we click. Let's run. The test passed. We see the button was clicked and the next page shows up with items. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next session. Thanks. All Part 1 eBooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.